Partial Rep Jealousy Disorder. That's a pretty good title. Cheers. Hmm. So I sat around for a while, watched the video a couple of times, and started thinking, should I put this video up or not? I know I'm going to get a lot of people upset. I know there's going to be a lot of dislikes, which it doesn't bother me. That's fine. As long as you see what I'm trying to educate you on or inform you on, my opinion, you know, may not be the books, but it definitely has some validity with 34 years of me training. I think the most concern on these partial reps, a lot of you powerlifters, you see somebody partial squatting, and I'm against that. You know, you guys have seen me squat and leg press. You know, I'll put 1,000 pounds on there and go all day, and I'll put 400 pounds and go all day. I get below parallel for sure on squats, and I put my kneecaps to my earlobes on leg press. I can do that, so I will. The people that put so much weight on there and barely squat, I really, here's the deal. The stretch of the range of motion is one of the most important parts. If you can flex the muscles at that partial extension, you're getting the benefit of it. That's how I built a good chest, shoulders, back, arms, everything up top. You guys that are barely doing the full range of motion on the squats, I've seen your legs. You're going to have to go a little bit deeper. Three inches is not enough. Same thing on the leg press, but everything else stands true to this video. Enjoy the clip. What's up, Internet? Big J with Big J's Extreme Fitness. Cool video to talk about. Nice topic. I'm sure somebody else will come along and see this. One of my peers that do YouTube videos and do a better version of this and have some evidence and stuff in the description box to post. But I just want to cover my thoughts, what uh, I have to say about partial reps, partial range of motion, quarter reps, half reps, whatever you want to call them. Let's talk about that real quick. First and foremost, most of you guys, 90% or more, know that I was involved in an accident over 25 years ago. Crushed, fractured, and broke 20 plus bones. Both shoulders were fractured, left elbow was crushed, ribs, back, leg, etc. Now, I utilize partial reps, and I have utilized partial reps for the last 25 years, and in that 25 years, I competed successfully at a very high level in powerlifting and bodybuilding. Of course, in powerlifting, they will not allow partial reps for lockout, okay? So I had to get doctor's notes and x-rays and surgery, technician notes, etc., to compete in a couple of strongman events, but... They allowed me to compete with this lack of range of motion that I have with that left arm. This left shoulder doesn't extend all the way out. I'm just so broke down pickup truck, but I'm still trucking along, keep airing the tires, gasoline in the tank, oil in the motor, and antifreeze in the coolant system to keep me rocking and rolling. Now, with that being said, there are a lot of other bodybuilders of a higher caliber. As a matter of fact, the greatest bodybuilders in the world, they use constant tension with partial reps as well. Now, people say half reps, quarter reps. It's all relative, just depending on what you call a full rep or not. But I wanted to mention this. If you back up just a little bit, guys, <laughs> just back up a little bit and think about what you've been seeing on Instagram and some of the, there's tons of YouTubers out there nowadays are posting all kinds of videos about makeup and dresses and clothes and cars and farm equipment, etc. What do you guys click on the most? Those booty workouts, am I right? Yeah, I'm right. And I wish I could post a couple of pictures of some girls' booties and show you how much that they've developed with that partial range of motion that everybody's complaining about these guys and gals are using on the shoulder presses and the bench presses. However... Those partial reps are building booties. Now, with that being said, go back a few years and look at some of these amazing bodybuilders doing the partial reps with their chest, constant tension, shoulder presses, partial reps with the biceps. They're making gains as well. Now, whether they're enhanced or not, that's a different subject. A whole different story. But I can guarantee you these girls are making just as many gains in the butts as these guys are making in their chest. And I just want to back you guys up one more time and go, hey, think about this. There may be some physical evidence, there may be some scientific evidence, there may be some research that definitely allows this partial range of motion to be part of a workout regimen and to aid you into building a big old giant round muscle belly in that range of motion or in that workout that you're actually utilizing. Biceps, triceps, chest, back, legs, you name it, calves too. However, I do know that a full range of motion is very beneficial in the stretch and as well as the flexion. It will definitely help. However, again, I have not had a full range of motion on any part of my body in 25 years. And, and again, competing at a very high level in bodybuilding and powerlifting and strongman events, not too bad. So back up a little bit, guys and gals. Don't worry about how many drugs are taken or not taken. Don't worry about how full that they extend their arms, especially if they're not a powerlifter. Now, you guys, this goes into my discrimination clause that I started talking about a few days ago. 
don't discriminate. Don't hate. Join and congratulate. You guys have got to be happy for people that are making extreme gains. Okay? Don't pick them apart. Pick their brain and go, hey, how come you're getting such a big chest? How are you getting such a big round booty? How come your calves are looking so much better? And nine times out of ten, they'll answer you. 50% of the time, it'll be the truth. The other 50% of the time, they're not wanting to tell you because you may or may not be a threat or a competitor to them on stage. And if they're not competing, especially in my case, I'll tell you everything. We'll talk about nutrition. We'll talk about drugs. We'll talk about workouts. We'll talk about rest. We'll talk about supplements, whatever you want to talk about. But I did want to remind you guys and gals that lately... It's very accepted for partial rep, range of motion, half reps, three quarter reps, full reps, whatever, and not full reps to get them booty gains. You guys have been watching them. Don't knock them. So make sure next time you're walking around looking at people in the gym and they're doing partial reps and they've got a big chest or they've got big shoulders, they've got a big butt. It's probably working. You should try it. Don't knock it. Again, don't hate. Don't get mad. Congratulate. Figure it out. Till next time. Tension rules, train hardcore. And we'll see you next video.